We made it to the Big Apple at Champs Boxing Club. Today we got the pleasure of speaking with the New York City's Attitude head coaches, Benny Roman, Ryan, Ryan O'Leary, excuse me, and the team captain, Pistol Pete Dobson. How you guys doing? We good, Anthony. How's everything? Everything's good, man. I'm excited for these for these playoffs. Yeah, so are we anxious. And also, Benny, you know, you guys had a very successful season this year. You guys uh, accumulated a five and two record. What was the keys to success for your season? Uh, key to success was camaraderie. These guys just bonding together, really just gelling together. They fed off of each other's energy. When one guy was getting down, the other guys would amp them back up and you would see that. You could actually see the turns during the fight sometimes where one of the guys might take a little uh, rough loss and, and the next guy would take a win and the team would just rally get fired up and, and and then everybody would come roaring back um it's these guys got so far because of the way that they interact with each other yes, sir. Yes, yeah sir. like i said you know you guys came a long way but the job is not finished we still have to go to the playoffs we still have to win the mega ball in the playoffs have you guys have made any adjustments so far yeah yeah we actually uh, brought back to a lot of our roster i i don't want to be cocky but we should be seven and oh you know, we really should be, but Ooh. we had half a roster for a big portion of the season. We lost some of our top dogs, Kanja and and um, Sherbeck, but we got them back now. So our boys are back. They're off medical suspension. Um, they're, they're ready to go. So we have almost, we have about 90% full squad and that 90% will dominate these guys. And Pete, you know, throughout the throughout the season as a team captain, I'm sure there's been many of moments when you've been, you know, yelling at your team, not yelling, but motivating your team, you know, keeping everyone focused. What were some of the things that you've been sharing with your team in those do or die moments? I just, um, you know, treat, treat every round like a fight. Like everybody, you can't count on uh, your teammate to win the fight for us or win for us. We got to win our own rounds and then at the end it will all add up and we all get the big one, you know what yes. I mean? Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know, Pete was speaking from the heart. Well, Benny came up with the idea of taking, saying, you know, Pete, why don't you go down and try to motivate these guys? You go have a talk to him, because Pete's like, like I, I told you yesterday, he's like the OG. He's been around for a long time through the amateur program. Everybody knows Pete. He hustles, and he's always in other gyms. Like I said, he's been down in the Atlanta gym, the DC gyms. He's known everybody in the pros. He's an undefeated pro, and the younger guys look up to him. So I said, you know, Benny and I give so much direction. They know all the guys in here know we give them love. But the thing is, you're hearing it from a coach, you know, he's their peer. And and he, when he went and said it to them, it spoke from the heart and told them this is how we have to do it. Um, they just, they gelled with that. And you could see in the performance of, I forget who we fought that night, um, but we crushed it. I mean, and we, I, I owe it a lot to him doing that. Okay. Yeah. And also, Ryan, in the semifinals, you guys are facing the DC Destroyers. Right yep. now, you and DC are one and one. You know, you guys beat them once, they beat you guys once. How has that rivalry motivated you guys going to the semifinals? Uh, so, I'm going to let Benny answer most of this, but uh, uh, my take is this. Barry went in there with probably on paper one of the most talented squads out there. Um, but they didn't have the plan that we did. We have New York kids that are fighting right off the jump. If you get in the ring with a New York kid and the pros or the amateurs, the second the first bell rings, you're on, they're on, all right? Most of the other gyms will, or, or boxers will kind of pace themselves to get, get there. So the, in the beginning, these guys were not fighting the best format for TCL. Then they picked up on it because they are smart and they are good. And then um, while we were down a few boxes, they got us, they beat us by a couple of points. Um, now we got our full roster back. Now we're going head to head. We both know exactly what we have to do to win. I will guarantee we will, we will destroy these guys. Yeah, adjustments. So the key was uh, DC had a chance to upgrade their roster. We have our same roster from when we first started. We have maybe one guy that's in there right now, but our whole team is the original team from when we first started. Consistency is the key there. So uh, making adjustments, going at them, going at their weaknesses right away. So, you know, we don't want to give up too much, but it's on. Yeah. And coming. <laughs> no, I'm excited, I'm excited. And Pete, you know, at this point, you're 16 and 0 as a pro, you're fighting, you know, 10 round fights. 
how has the one round um, in the combat league, how have you adjusted to these one round scenarios? Um, I've been trying to, I'll still get adjusted to it, you know, because I trained for 10, 12 rounds. And it's uh, it's different. A lot of a lot of amateur dudes they come out fast. When you're in the pros, like you, you want to study your uh, opponent, especially the clubs are smaller. So it's like you don't want to go out there swinging wild and get caught. But that's what makes it exciting. That's what makes the TCL exciting. People get knocked out and all of that. So you know, I, I'm still trying to adjust, but I've adjusted. I'm trying to adjust a little bit more, you know. Yeah, the training methods are different for the one round than the long process of rounds. So yeah, these guys still making the transition, uh, they're already hit to it. So, you know, it's all about adjusting to your opponent every single match. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And also, Benny, we spoke before about how your team was the first team to hold the tryouts. Right. Do you feel like the fact that you guys had that early on camaraderie, did that help in the season? Oh, definitely. Uh, we made the adjustments right away we seen what worked with our team, what wouldn't work with the team as far as uh, long distance fighting. Again, you have a lot of these pros that are coming in and we have a lot of the amateur guys that are just coming in, making the transitions to the pro, letting the hands go quick in one round, hit, don't get hit. So it, it was great. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And also Pete, I understand that, you know, these are do or die rounds, you know, going into the playoffs. What's your mentality going into the semifinals? To win, win, win every round. You just you want to win. Let my hands go, and um, you no, know, make an exciting, exciting yes, fight. Yes, and Ryan, as a coach, you know how it is for you know young fighters up and coming up in the ranks. What can you say about Ahmed and him giving the opportunity to these young fighters? Look, there's nothing like it. Um, you know, I have about a dozen pros in, in my gym. And starting these kids off, if they're not Olympians or, you know, a number one in the country amateur, to get them going, you're actually paying for fights. You have to pay to get on a show. You have to travel, pay your own travel, pay your own meds, pay everything without medical insurance. You have to get out there. And you could be doing this up to their 12th fight. Ahmed's saying from the jump, these kids don't have a pro fight yet. You're fighting one round, possibly two. And I'm going to pay you every week. You're going to get paid every week and you're going to have the health insurance. Now, a lot of people didn't believe this. Look, even Ahmed knows there'd be 80% more athletes in this league right now if they actually believed it. I didn't believe it. Nobody believes if he told it was happening, but we knew to take a chance because the, the premise and the idea was great. And once it started really happening, there's glitches along the way, but it's a brand new season of a brand new sport with over a hundred boxes and coaches. I mean, I can't imagine the administrative work that there's there for them to do. But these kids are getting paid and they're getting paid a hell of a lot more in two weeks than they would probably for two years in, in the pros. Yes, uh, the platform is great for these guys. They made the transition from amateurs going into the pros, six figure deals for these guys, health insurance and a chance to sh showcase their skills in one round. So it's great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And also another, another, another thing I, I really like about it is like when you when you're a pro, when you fight, that's really when you get the most attention. Like right. if you fight, like say you fight twice or three, sometimes people fight once a year. Like people forget about you, but you fight in every every week. So you always like active. You're always in the gym. You're always like people are looking for you. All, all, all eyes on us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know. It was like with, with, with the pro fight, you fight once. And then two months later, nobody's talking about you until you fight again. Yeah, exactly. staying active every week, fighting different teams every week, encountering different matchup scenes every week. I mean, even if you do fight the same team, the matchups are different because now you know weaknesses, you know strengths, so you adjust according to, to the teams and their, their fighters. Hey, I, I want to make one point if I can. If you watch the UFC when it first came on, a lot of people said this is going to take away from boxing. All right, because Dana White made the best fighter fight the best fighter on every show. It was always the best against the best. Boxing didn't get hurt. It had to up its level. So we started getting bigger fights that we didn't see. Same evolution is going to happen with TCL. 
They're, these boxers are getting paid right now. Well, maybe the promoters shouldn't make you pay to get on the show anymore. Maybe that's going to go away now because the promoters are going to say, hey, we don't want everybody going to see it. It's going to be a comp competitive thing. This is a great thing for the whole sport in general. I think it's it, it, two years down the road, there's going to be a lot of changes. Yeah, there's going to be changes. Uh, remember, these guys that pay for fights, they don't get paid. So you're fighting six rounds, four rounds. You have to pay for your opponent. You have to pay for all your medicals. And at the end of the day, you don't even get a check. Right. So, you know, this platform right here just changed the era of boxing. This is the new wave of boxing. I know next season is going to be insane. Right now, our phones is going bananas. Like, everybody's like, when are the trials are starting for next season? You know, we're looking to start them now in September. Hopefully, inshallah, everything will work out good. And uh, we just can't wait for our second season. So, so right after the Mega Brawl, you're going right to trial? Right into the trial. So right into trial. We have a yeah. whole bunch of, we have a big roster, you know, that we have to cut, you know, and and, and make our way through and, and start selecting teams. But yeah, it's going to be exciting. And then we have 12 teams that are up for yeah, You also got to remember, we don't want to replace anybody that we have right now. Right. I mean, right. we have the dream team. It's like... People want to get on our team. You better be special, bro. Yeah, because exactly. you're not replacing these guys. Yeah, exactly. And another special thing about your team is you guys are one of the only teams that has two head coaches. How has that helped influence, or how has that helped the season so far? Well, you know, we work great. You have to have chemistry anywhere. You know, if you could have two best people and they don't get along, it's not going to work. Everything we do, we process it. We go through it. We go through ins, outs, positives, negatives, what's right, what's not right. We give each other feedback. Hey, sometimes we wake up cranky, you know what I'm saying? But at the saying. end of the day, we make it happen, you know? Yeah, right? we do like a, a good cop, bad cop thing, like I was saying. Some, some days, like, Benny's put me where sometimes, you know, something will happen and I'll get all fired up and he'll just look at me and be like, hey. Let's, let's get through this. Let's get through today. And he's right. You know, I, I could have jeopardized something where I could have brought a bad energy and he levels me out. And I do the same in reverse. He's saying, oh, it's overwhelming. You know, we got to do this. I, I got this. You sit back today. You know, and we feed off of each other. We both have worked at the national level and, and with pros at, together before. So we've known each other for years and years and years. So we've never had a problem with each other. You know, if he says, throw a left hook this way, I would never correct him, you know, they, he knows what the hell he's doing. So it's the same in reverse. We have a mutual respect and, and that's why the kids vibe off of that, you know, and they're able to, to see it and appreciate that. And they're not listening to one or the other. They listen to both at the same time. And Pete, how have you experienced having two head coaches? I mean, it's, it's great. <clears throat> it's great. Like, uh, more than just boxing, they, they taught me how to be a leader and, um, like, they can lead, lead a team, and it's just, it's just amazing. They pick a great team, a bunch of good dudes, and just, they're great men, great human beings to be around. I learned a lot from them, not just boxing, talking about life. Like, one of my favorite boxers is Muhammad Ali, not because of the way he fights, just because as a human being. And in life. I feel like, you no, know, in life, they, being around them makes me a better, better man. You know what sure. I mean? That's right. Also, Pete, you know, being in this position as far as boxing in the playoffs, there's never been a boxing, you know, in playoffs. You had a lot of big fights in your 16-0 career. How is this moment different from anything that you might have felt before in your career? I mean, I say the same thing every time. Different, different patients, same prescription. Everybody gets the same thing. So, it's, no matter what I'm fighting, the MGM Grand, Madison Square Garden, ball play, it's the same prescription. They all get it the same way. They get a big Pete oh. right hand, man. <laughs> <laughs> that pistol Pete right? He don't yeah. care. <laughs> all right. How does it feel, you know, making history, being in the first ever Team Combat League playoffs? Yeah, that's, to me, it's amazing, man. I mean, it's so fantastic. I can't wait to reap all the rewards of the glory of it, you know, when we're out there in the victory and we raise our hands. But just being here, it's an honor, and, and we're glad that we stuck through it. You know, there was a lot. It was a lot going through this in the beginning, the administration and the medicals and putting the team together and guys falling off. It was tough, but it's all worth it. It really is. I mean, because this is historical. This is going to last. Yeah, you know? definitely. This is a new platform. There's a new wave, a new era. 
um, it, it was hard in the beginning. We're not going to say it wasn't hard. It had its bumps and bruises. Um, again, everybody was skeptical. You know, we were skeptical. We didn't know or how it was going to proceed. Uh, once it's, it rolled off, it was like, mm, you know what? This thing could work right now, you know? Uh, you know, in the beginning, After I had suggested, uh, yeah, in the beginning, I had suggested uh, five minute rounds, being oh. that this was a brand new platform. Let's make it more interesting. How about one five minute round, right. you know? But they were like, ah, oh, you know, that's kind of <laughs> a little out there. So, uh, but you know what? It works for the best. So right. I know these guys are happy, we're happy. I know everybody that got the opportunity to showcase their skills, the coaches as well, because all the coaches have to put a plan together for their team. So it's not just us, it's all the other coaches as well. So, you know, strategizing, getting their teams fit the best they can, you know, bringing out the best that all, each individual athlete has, because they're all individual. You know, you have to reach out to them individually so everyone has their own set skills on what they're good at so you got to bring that out of them and all the coaches are doing a great job i commend all the coaches from tco great job you know can't wait for this to pop off like they say you know and it's on yes, sir. what message do you guys have for dc destroyers for your opponents in the semifinals? we love them <laughs> I, I was gonna say the same thing man yeah we love them i mean it's funny because um, Barry and Boogie, they trained me for my last professional fight. Oh, no way. Yeah, I was in D.C. My last camp was in D.C. Uh, I'm cool with all of the boys on the team. Those are my mans. I, I was with them for like two months, and I like got a close bond with them. It's funny, I got to fight one of my boys uh, in the semis. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Yeah, those guys, we have love and respect for them. Look, Barry's a legend. Barry and Boogie are legends, you know? They're, and their team, they always got a solid roster of top amateurs and pros. Um, but we're just the same thing in New York, you know? We're just a little more street than them, so we're, we're looking to uh, get it done in a highly competitive, evenly matched fight. We, we want to come out on top. Sir, well guys, congratulations on making it to the playoffs. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anthony. Thank, thank, thank you. you. TCL, we coming. Do not miss the New York City Attitudes versus the DC Destroyers in the semifinals. If they get through that challenge, they're going right to the Mega Bowl. Yes, sir.